In today's episode, Chef Kendra teaches Prairie Street's founder and CEO, Elliot Moskowitz, how to make her delicious Hanukkah potato latkes using an air fryer. Amazing. Um, great contrast and flavors. Sweet and salty, crispy and fluffy. Welcome to the Prairie Street Culinary Kitchen. I'm your chef today, Chef Kendra, and I am here with the founder and CEO of prairiestreet.co, Elliot Moskowitz. Thanks for inviting me. Today we're going to make some potato lakas in the air fryer, which is going to cut down the oil, but keep that same crispy deliciousness that we all know and love. So it's a double new experience for me because I've never made potato lakas. I'm what? kind of the protein guy in the house for making the hardcore foods, but I'd love to see it. And I haven't used the air fryer before, so I um, can't wait for the lesson. We're gonna start with the box grater. Now I have already grated one of the potatoes. I'm using two Idaho potatoes because they are fairly starchy and starchy means crispiness. I have also already grated half of a yellow onion, okay? So we are going to use the larger holes of the grater because if you use the smaller grate, they just kind of turn to mush. It's like ricing the potato. And we don't want to do that. We want to keep it nice and thick and crunchy. Excellent. But I am going to make sure this doesn't slip in my hand. So I'm just going to wipe the potato down. Excellent. That way we don't get a knuckle locker. We yeah. get a potato locker. I'm also just going to hold it at the larger end and work my way into it. Great, 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 great. Would you like to give it a shot? I could try. Excellent. Not trained, but I could give it a I shot. I think you can handle it. It has a good fragrance, actually. It does, doesn't it? Perfect. So the other thing that you don't want with your potato lakas, in order to keep them crispy, is you gotta get the moisture out. So that's why we have this clean dish towel, can't stress that enough, to help bring it out. I'm gonna gather this all together. All right, so again, you just wanna squeeze it out. And take your time with it too, because you don't wanna, you really kind of don't wanna rush through this step because more water means a soggy laka. Right. I've never seen this trick, actually. Really? No, I've never seen the towel trick. How, um, how do you guys do it? I don't know. I've actually had other people do it for me. <laughs> right. I've never made lockers in my life. You're I like, cook I a sit lot. at the table and I and I, I get served. Exactly. This is one of the few things I get served. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we're go. good. All right. So I'm going to put them in. Now I want to fluff them. Okay, I don't need them sticking together because I have some more ingredients that are gonna go in here. That should be good. Okay, next I'm gonna add in some matzo meal to it, okay? 100%. 100% matzo meal. Now you can use other things. Um, you can use some panko if you wanted to. Again, it'll just kind of give you a little bit more of that crispiness. What the meal does, whether it's panko, whatever your breading choice is, is any extra moisture that there might be left over from here. Yeah, it's gonna soak it up. It's gonna soak it up, exactly. Again, it's all about getting that crispy laka. Now, I don't know if you know that at prairiestreet.co, now all our videos, you don't even have to go to YouTube. You can see them by, on their entirety on the with website. their recipes. So if you ever go to our website, look at the videos and recipes section, you could print out, you could watch any of our recipes at any time. That's excellent. Yeah. Next thing I need is one egg. Okay, that can go right in. That's a, another binder. And then I'm gonna add some flavorings in here. So I'm actually gonna add in a little bit of horseradish. So it's gonna wow. give it just a little bit of a kick underneath. But again, very, very light. Um, if you ever have fresh horseradish, it's a really nice thing to grate in. All right, so we're gonna use about half of that. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of ground fennel into it, okay? Just a tad. Do you think I forgot anything? I would never question anything you do. It's not healthy for me. <laughs> <laughs> some pink kosher salt and some coarsely ground black pepper. Very cool. Okay, and again, you can 
Makes really sense, sees that in that. It makes sense, the adventure you already, that you threw a little Himalayan into the subject. Yeah, right? right? I Absolutely. know, why not? I'm gonna give this to you, Elliot, to mix, and just go crazy with it. You know, I'm gonna be in big trouble right now. There's certain <laughs> things that I do in the household. I make the main dishes, I make this. Once my wife sees me doing this kind of stuff, that's it, this will be my job in You're the You're gonna future. be serving her. In addition to the other things. <laughs> I would love to learn how to make her style of potato latkes, though, because I'm sure that she has some really great tricks. Even, like, the most simple of recipes, there's always... Well, the Greek style side of her olive oil, and obviously yeah. is the key component, and that's why people eat it on the holiday of Hanukkah, because it's all about the oil story. Perfect. For traditional potato latkes, or potato fritters, right, you fry them. So you would have a cast iron skillet, you'd have oil. all extra virgin olive oil, you'd have canola oil, like something more bland, whatever you want, but you would fry them and then let them drain either on paper towels or on oven wrap. Soak them up. Exactly. But because we're doing it in the air fryer, we actually don't have to worry about all of that extra oil and everything. So we're going to use the tray for the air fryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle this with olive oil because the thing is, even though we're not frying it in there, it does add a really nice flavor profile to it. And obviously it helps with the crispiness. Nice. So I'm gonna use this and now I'm gonna just make sure that it's evenly spread out. Right. Use my paper towel. Okay. Okay, good. So the point of an air fryer is to use significantly less real oil than you would if you were making it in a traditional way. Yeah, because what the air fryer does, and again, we'll go through this a lot more, but what the air fryer does is it's a super high speed convection oven. High speed, high heat, fast. And what it does is it circulates the air around the food. Now, it's not gonna be circulating underneath this because it's a tray, but it will be circulating more around the top. And we will be flipping them halfway through. So we're gonna take a nice little dollop, and Elliot, what I'm gonna let you do is, I'm gonna let you flatten these out. Like I'm gonna have you do maybe about three quarters of an inch with the lockers, just like that, okay? There you go. All right, let's do that last one, that should be good. Now we're gonna go a little bit thinner with these. And the reason being, again, is because we want them to be nice and crispy without, you wanna have um, not just like a crispy outside, but a nice chew to the inside. And if they're too, too thick, what's gonna happen is they're gonna get crispy on the outside and be doughy on the inside. Right. We don't want that to happen. Kind of like smash burgers a little. See, I'm yeah. trying to salvage a little fish. You can salvage that. That can be my tasting one. And you know what, there's a little bit left in here so we can just add that into that guy. There we go. Okay, great. So I'm gonna just straighten some things up here and we will do our air fryer. Now I'd love to see how to work an air fryer. I know nothing about it. What do you have to do and is it complicated? It is not complicated at all. It is so intuitive, which is one of the reasons why I love it and one of the reasons why it's so great for home cooks. One of the other things that's really great with the air fryer is that you only have one appliance instead of many appliances out on your countertop and it does not overheat your kitchen or your house. So it's perfect for small places like apartments. No oil, exhaust, all that no, stuff. No, none of that, Excellent. none of that at all. It's fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and put these potato lakas in. I'm gonna show you how to use it. Again, super, super simple. I'm going to press this button here Okay, and you can see that the air fryer mode is blinking. That's the one that I wanna be in. I already have this set at 375 Fahrenheit, but if you want it at a different temperature, you just click this button again. If you wanna move the temperature up, you turn the dial, turn it down. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at 375. I'm gonna click this button again to go to my time. So I'm gonna turn this to be 15 minutes for the potato latkes. Okay, and then I hit set, and then I hit start. Pretty it, complicated. It talks to me, and it starts its warming up, its preheating process. 
You can go ahead and put the food in before if you want. That's not a problem. I'm starting to become more of a precise cooker, so I'm just going to wait until the preheat process is done. Does it signal to you that the preheat is over? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. It gives me a little ding. Okay. And then, and what's nice and easy, too, is even if I'm, like, in the other room, like, folding laundry or whatever, um, if I miss it and I come back in and it starts the countdown, I can just turn the time to bring it back to 15 minutes. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so, the, so we'll wait for the ding. We're gonna wait for the ding. In the meantime, I'm gonna give these guys, so they have the olive oil underneath, I'm gonna give it just a little drizzle on top. Do, 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 do. Done. Okay, there's our ding, it's all ready. So okay. we're gonna slide this in to like, like what, the upper rack area. Now, if I was doing something else, I would put it on the lower rack. Okay. Okay. Okay, we close, and now we wait. Bum, bada bum. And there we have it, our beautiful potato latkes done in the air fryer. Latke air fryer. <laughs> latkes out of the air fryer, exactly. So as you can see, we have that nice crispiness on the outside, beautiful. and beautiful. I can't wait to know what you think when you dive into it. Um, just wanna point out really quickly that you have to have applesauce when you eat latkes, okay. right? So we didn't have any, so I just cut up a couple of apples, popped them into the microwave for like four minutes, added a little tiny bit of coarse kosher salt, mashed it up with my fork, voila, homemade Definitely. applesauce. You don't want that creamy stuff in the store with all the preservatives. No, no, no. no. Nice chunk. Not, not, when, not when it's that easy to do. So no. we're gonna give it a little color, give it just a little bit of parsley, right? Okay. I'm going to cut one in half for us to share. Okay. Crust test. Crust test. All right, how's the sound? Are we catching that crust? I hear it loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Oh my God, it's you so good. You can't fake crust. You cannot fake the crust. That little bit of horseradish, it comes up right at the end. The kick that keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. It's amazing. Right? Okay, now let's try it with the... Yeah, with our applesauce. Oh my God. Our beautiful potato latkes done in the air fryer. Sweet and salty, crispy and fluffy. Point, counterpoint. Exactly. Amazing, a great contrast in flavors, but I think I'm turned on to the air fryer. I could see for certain reasons, for right. certain purposes of doing it, without having that big mess, exhaust, smoke, too much oil, saturation. Yeah, there's no oil saturation as this. You just get that little like kiss of extra virgin olive oil. It's not soaking in it. Seems like on all our videos, it's all about the crust, right? Yeah. At, at the game, the searing, the end piece, it's all about getting the good crust. That's right. Well, anyways, thank you so much for joining us. If you guys like this, we'd love for you to help feed the algorithm, like, subscribe, comment, all the good things. We're here every Sunday at two o'clock and come to our website at prairiestreet.co where we have all these products featured and we ship to you nationwide within a couple business days. We're here to help and we'd love to see you again on our website and on the channel. Tell your friends and until then, Chef Kendra, amazing to be with you and I'm sure I'm gonna see you again. Oh yeah. Very soon. Yes. Okay. Thanks so much, Elliot. Thank you, and take care. Subscribe to our channel now and set your notifications so you don't miss our latest recipes and chef-led tutorials. Then head over to prairiestreet.co to shop for your next big meal.